Task Force Maxima executed some search warrants in the Surface Paradise area. As a result, we've arrested five members of the uh, criminal motorcycle gangs based from Victoria, three members of the Hells Angels criminal motorcycle gang, and two members of the Common Chiros motorcycle gang. They were arrested in relation to breaches of 60A of the criminal code in relation to knowingly being in a public place with three or more members. Uh, three, three people will be charged with two offences and two will be charged with one. <coughs> uh, it, it sends a clear message to the members of the criminal fraternity that they can't come to Queensland and think that they're going to get away with things. Uh, it's important that these gangs know that the laws that have been passed in Queensland affect all criminal motorcycle gangs when they're in Queensland. Just because they're based in another state doesn't mean they're exempt from the legislation whilst here. Can you tell us what the charges will be, the offences at all? Uh, as I said, there'll be uh, three of the members will be charged with two offences of under that, code, under that 60A of the Criminal Code. It's uh, knowingly in a public place for three or more members and two of them will be charged with one offence. I understand they want on bail in Victoria for drug charges and two of them on bomb making charges. Can you tell us more about that? Four of the members are currently on bail for serious matters in Victoria. It'd probably be inappropriate to go into the details of that. Should they have known about these uh, laws in Queensland? Do you expect they would have known about the assembly laws or have they been caught off guard? They certainly knew. Um, speaking with some of the members this morning, that it was clear that they knew that it was an offence to be three or more in Queensland. Uh, the way they've arrived in the state, they've come in a staggered manner, so obviously trying to circumvent the legislation. But it's been good work by the Uniform Police and Surface Paradise, which has identified them and led to the action today. Can you say much about what they were in Queensland for, or what they were doing on the dog hunt? They've told us that they're here for holidays, but that's subject to ongoing investigations. It's obviously unusual that we've got two different motorcycle gangs congregating together. So they're really trying to challenge the laws, like it's a bit sort of catch us if you can kind of thing? I think they thought that they were um, safe because we wouldn't know who they are because they're not from Queensland. But it just shows how vigilant the police and how active they are down on the coast to, to uh, force these, enforce these new laws. What were they doing at the time? At the time they were walking along Elkhorn Avenue and then on the second occasion they were in a licensed area of their accommodation, which is a public place also. And is that where you arrested them in their room or...? We arrested them in their, uh, in their accommodation in Orchid Avenue Service Paradise. Is this the first time you've arrested in state bikies on these laws? Um, in relation to these particular types of the charges, yes it is. Those, do, I know the, the Hells Angels do, but do the Comancheros have much of a base in Queensland as well? Not really. Uh, they're more in the southern states, New South Wales and Victoria, but we work closely together with our interstate colleagues to sharing of intelligence and information so we can target the unlawful activities of all the gangs. Just to clarify, so since they were introduced in October, this is the first inter arrest on interstate bikies? Under, in, under this particular section, yes, yes. Did they ride their bikes over the border, do you know? Did they fly in or you said they were staggered? Some flew in and some drove in. On bikes? No, I don't believe so. They were in motor vehicles. Is there anything to suggest they were meeting other bikes facing contact during the trip? Or? Uh, we've got intelligence to suggest that they had contact with other bikies in Queensland and also with their colleagues who are in the state whilst here. To, the, to knowing they were in the state, uh, you know, was a tip off from another police um, organisation or uh, the big police in the Surface Paradise area obviously do street checks on all types of manners of people in that area, and they street checked them on the earlier late on the Friday night, and that led to further investigations, which identified their uh, their associations with those criminal gangs. Did they look like bikies when they were pulled over? Or? Colloquially, I would say yes. They're certainly they're big, muscly, tattooed. Um, I suppose that's what drew the attention of the uniform police. But no colours, no, no patches. No, they're wearing any colours, no. What's your reaction to the 
take the outcome of, I know this is sending a warning to interstate bikers, but the first arrests of five people, do you anticipate that they will take that as a warning or that they will continue to take it as trying to, you know, kind of taunt Queensland police? Well, I'm hoping they'll take it as a warning. Um, if they come to Queensland and they commit offences, they'll be arrested. It, it's quite clear that just because you're from another state doesn't mean we know, know who you are. As I indicated, we share information daily with interstate and national bodies on who are criminal motorcycle gangs and the members of those gangs. What mood were they in this morning? Were they aggressive towards the police or...? Oh, they weren't happy. Um, no, they didn't. But search warrant and then how many police were involved in the operation? There was about 20 police in the, in the operation this morning. Uh, they, uh, they were in two different units I was within that complex. And were they armed, the police? No, the police were armed. Armed, yeah. yeah. But they weren't armed that you're no. aware of, yeah. And one, one of them was an office bearer, I believe? Yes, <coughs> one of the members is the sergeant of arms of uh, the Melbourne chapter of the Hells Angels. Two separate units, but the offences were when they were walking down Elkhorn Street and in the licensed part of the hotel. That's correct. The offences are only, uh, you've got a three or more in a public place, so... So your hotel room's not, not a public place, no. but being in the bar and walking down the street. That's right. And five of them were together. That's right. Yeah. Just clarify, with the, um, the three people that are on two charges, that three Hells Angels members? Yes, yeah, so two full members and a uh, participant, and then two full members of the common chiros. Yes, at Southport, Magist Southport Magistrates Court.